it is, Richard. Moses was taken out of the river. My God, and it's amazing how the Lord will provide for you. Amen. Moses was taken out of the river, and his mother, who had put him in the river, became his nurse to nurse him, amen, to feed him in Pharaoh's house. Pharaoh paid his mother to raise him up. Amen. Pharaoh said, first we want to kill him, but we're going to pay his mother to keep him alive. My God. I tell you. <laughs> Amen. Church of God, amen. The devil can't destroy you. The same one who the enemy has wanted to destroy, God will use them to bless you. Right. My God. So don't, don't, let me tell you, church, don't never worry about your adversary. Because your adversary is going to turn around, really, and bless you. Yes. Amen. Your adversary. So, and, 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 and the devil is the adversary. Here it was. Right. Moses has been raised by his mother. Nursed by his mother. Amen. And now he and, and not only that, but the scripture says Moses, as Richard said, was a prince in Egypt. Now, a prince in Egypt, I need you all listen, this is a powerful thing. Because Moses had gone to the best schools of his day in Alexandria. Moses was adept in the science and the arts. Amen. I'm talking about the Egyptians of that day. Those I'm telling you, even today, I mean, up to architects and scientists cannot figure out how they put the capstone, how they built a sphinx. Nobody, not the sphinx, but the uh, but the uh, pyramids in Egypt. I mean, nobody can figure that out. I'm talking about because it's so exact, it is perfect. It is, it, it is perfect, amen, in the way that it is erected. Everything is so exact, so much so that even now, we do not have architectural design capabilities to do that. So Moses was adept in the sciences of Egypt. He was adept in the, not only the sciences, but the knowledge of the gods and the knowledge of the religion. And here it is, Moses, 40 years old, Ooh, it's something how would the Lord begin to deal with you about your soul. My God. It entered into Moses to visit with his people. And he went out there and he and, 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 and to visit with them. Moses understood that God had called him to, a, to the place of being a deliverer. Someone who could be a point of contact for deliverance for his people. So when Moses go out there, he go down to the corner of 6th and Callow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And he find them fighting one another. Actually, he find an Egyptian beating up on one of the Israelites. Moses. Amen. I'm talking about he's a prince in Egypt. In Egypt. He, 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 his ire comes up. He's angry. So what does he do? He killed the Egyptian. Don't touch God's people. Ah, tomorrow he goes out and two of the Israelites are fighting against one another. And Moses said, you all are brothers. You're not supposed to be fighting against one another. And they, 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 they bust him out. They said, Moses, are you going to kill us too like you did that Egyptian yesterday? Ah, right. oh, the word is in the street now. And then and Moses is a murderer. Moses, now, and church, you know, it's important when you think that it is your time to step into your purpose. If it's not your time, amen, you might not step into it right away. That doesn't mean that the purpose is not your purpose. You just got to learn how to wait on the right time. Amen, because God has a time just for you. You ought to hunt yourself so you can't hunt nobody else. And say, you got, God got a time just for me. All right, go. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a time. Oh my God, my God. Sister Angela, baby, you ought to stand up here and testify because there would be the enemy said a few years ago, he done, he done wrote, he done erased your name out of his time and book. You, you can stand up here just to tell everybody, man, my time is just coming up here. <laughs> Amen. He rebuked me right out of hell. He didn't even want me near his gate. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So church, it's amazing when you understand the timing of the Lord. Amen. Moses, at the age of 40 years old, 
Amen. And you all know 40 years old people think that you're in your prime. No, man, you don't even know what prime is. Brother Dwayne Teller, they don't know what prime is. Think about it. 40 years old is prime. Amen. I told you, man, I'm talking about 40 then was the, was the old 15. Moses didn't even know what, what, what life was at the age of 40. But he thought it was his time. He thought it was time for him to be that point of contact for deliverance for the children of God. But once the word was in the street that he was a murderer of an Egyptian, Moses packed up his bags and ran for his life. Amen. He ran, he ran, he ran. My God, he ran as fast as he could. Come on. And he went as far as he could. He went down to a place called Midian. Amen. And surely he said that this must not be for me to do. How often are the times when troubles come, we question whether it is really, Lord, is it, is this really for me to do it this way? Because we want everything to be nice and cushy all the time. We want everything, we want our way to be paved on red carpet and Tyler and Tim singing our praise song. Tiptoe through the tube loves me. You know, we want everything to be <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> we want everything to be just self. Amen. But sometimes, church, you got to walk over the hot coals. Sometimes you got to actually go through the thorns. You got to walk through the briars. Uh, amen. To get to your destination. Sometimes you got to have some blood coming out. Amen. And we don't, whenever that stuff happens, okay. Here it was a mother. She said, Lord, I need you to save my son. Mm -hmm. So what does God do? He had the police to arrest him and put him in jail. And now she starts praying, Lord, please get my son out of jail. Hold on, sister. That's just like somebody who's got an illness in their body. And they go to the doctor and say, Doctor, please heal me. And the time the doctor pulled out his amen, scalpel and start cutting on him, and the first sight of blood, they said, oh, doctor, no, I didn't mean to see no blood. Don't you want to be healed? You got to see some blood. Amen. Time she see the first sight of blood, she, she don't realize that his deliverance is in jail. Amen. God got to take him that way to keep him out of hell. Amen. So church, sometimes we got to realize that it is the difficulties in life that brings us to the purpose of God. It is the hard things in life that brings us to the purpose of God. It is the things that we say we don't understand why it is so that brings us to the purpose of God. They that wait upon the Lord. Here it is, Moses out there for 40 years. Down there, Moses down there for 40 years, praise the Lord. He's down, amen, in the, in the desert. Moses has stopped, he has put off his scientific duties. He has put off his, amen, mathematical skills. He has put off all of his duties. And now Moses is down there, amen, in the, in, in the desert. Praise the Lord. He is down in the desert. Amen. All separated from God. So what does the Lord do? 